ladies and gentlemen, long time no bloody see, yeah. Um, all right, overrated or underrated, yeah. This is basically um, a video series that I want to continue doing. Basically, I'm given a topic within the streetwear fashion industry, and I have to say if it's overrated or under underrated, and I have to give my opinion on why. Um, and yeah, the reason why I'm sitting on the floor is because I want to sort of make these videos a bit more casual. So yeah, and um, plus I'm allowed to, <laughs> yeah, I'm allowed to. But um, but yeah, without further ado, let's just get into this. Trap star. Trap star overrated or underrated? I'm probably gonna say Trap Star is overrated. Just for the simple fact that like a lot of people have have like not access to Trap Star, but like a lot of people wear Trap Star now and I feel like it's sort of oversaturated, if that makes sense. Obviously clothing brands go like dip up and down and stuff, but I feel like the TikTok space is sort of, you know, not hurt Trap Star in a way, but like it's sort of become like a cheesy brand. Yeah, I want to say that. Like, don't get it twisted. I do love Trap Star. Like, like they they have cemented their like legacy. You know, ten ten times over. But you know, it's just become a bit cheesy in my opinion. Trap Star, like like even that um oh what what did they do? They did the Averex collaboration, and you know, like they are they are pushing pushing brat boundaries still. And I and also I do like when they um release like um like collaborations with like UK rap rappers and stuff. I feel like that is like um. It's just cool, isn't it? It's just cool. But um, yeah, just 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 for everything, it's just, you know, a lot of people wearing it, like I said, oversaturated. So yeah, Trap Star, a little bit overrated. All right, next one, startup clothing brands, yeah? And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say startup clothing brands are overrated as well. Because like, I feel like now, like, wanting to create like a clothing brand is basically wanting to become a rapper now. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand the amount of like time, effort and work you have to put in to actually make a clothing brand because fair enough, you're creative, you've got cool ideas or whatever, but you ain't got like a business mindset, you need marketing, you know, like just you need to be very organized as well. And I really don't think a lot of people understand like what actually goes into making a clothing brand and actually making a, a successful one as well. I feel like a lot of people just see what like Clint has done with like Cortez and that and be like, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. But it's really, really hard work. And, um, you know, if you feel like that you can do that, then do that. But I feel like a lot of people think that they can do that. And then w once it starts getting to like the, I was just saying the rubber on the road, they, they sort of get a bit shaky, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, startup clothing bands, a little bit overrated. All right, cool. Next one, fashion TikTok, yeah? Um, I'm going to say it's criminally underrated, yeah? Because I feel like you could do a lot on TikTok and there's a lot of, like, um, good quality content that you can make. But as of right now, I feel like everyone's sort of making the same content and stuff and... I hate, yeah, like, I hate with, with a passion, then bloody get ready with, with me videos, yeah, because, like, no one wants to see you getting changed in front of a camera and get ready with me, like, nah, mate, I'm, nah, I'm not rocking with that, and, like, yeah, just everyone's sort of making the same content, and I feel like it's due for, like, a, like, some sort of change, like, I'm not really seeing anyone, like, making, like, um, like, like, for example, like, skits, sort of, like, funny videos, um, like entertaining educational videos or it's just a bit stale like oh this is what I bought today get ready with me um, oh, and also yeah it's nice nah, it's, it's fair enough but it sort of jars me as well where like a lot of people would just cover news and I, I, I understand why because you know um, it's news and everyone wants to know what the news is but like say if there's a supreme drop or whatever I'm scrolling yeah supreme drop supreme drop supreme drop and gets a bit jarring, you know what I mean? So I feel like, yeah, uh, fashion TikTok, criminally underrated. And I want to see not new people come into the space, but I do want to see, I don't know, just more variety of, of videos being being made. So yeah, like streetwear, TikTok fashion, um, criminally underrated. And also, if you do like this, um, this t-shirt that I'm wearing, it's from my clothing brand, Section 17. And I know what I did say, yeah. Obviously, startup clothing brands are, are overrated. You know, I, you know, I know what I said in it. Yeah, I know what I said. But if you are interested and want to be a part of Section 17, go down into the description box below and uh, check it out. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get back into the video. Timberlands. 
I would say Timberlands are properly rated. They was underrated like a couple years ago, but now I feel like Timberlands are getting like the love that it sort of deserves. And Timberlands are just a classic, an all time classic shoe. Like, like I would say it's equivalent to like the Air Force One. Like, you know, it's just a shoe that will just, you know, forever, ever throughout history will be just a calm shoe. And yeah, I'd say it's properly rated. I'd say it's properly rated. It's not overrated. I feel like maybe in like a year or so it might be overrated. But for now, I'd say Timberland's properly rated. Clothing brand accessories. I would probably say criminally underrated again. Like, like I, I cannot even over-exaggerate, yeah? Like, there are so so much you can do when it comes to accessories. Like, look at what Supreme, Palace, and, and even Cortez, like, um, the other, the other, the other year or whatever, Cortez released a Subaru car, yeah? Like, that is crazy, you know what I mean? And I feel like a lot of clothing brands can, like, take inspiration and take notes off of, you know, the other clothing brands that have released accessories, like, like when it comes to accessories, you can like literally make anything, slap your branding on it and it will probably do like really well. Like for, for instance, like you can like, you know, customize the bike, do like your like logo on it and 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 whatever. And I feel like that that, that would slap as well. And like, even like you can like branch out to like, let's say art, yeah. You can like hit up like a famous artist. Well, we're not famous artist, but like an up and coming artist and be like, look, I want you to make me a piece of art that I want to sell on my clothing store. And I feel like that would bang. I can't lie. I feel like the, the, that would bang. You know what I mean? And like, you know, just like, you know, you could make a mouse. You could do like, I don't know, just, just anything. And I feel like, yeah, that, that is a space where clothing brands can actually flourish in. And yeah underrated umbro overrated or underrated and the reason why i put umbro in this video is because i love this clip it's mum joke time your yeah. mum's got a tattoo of the umbro side <laughs> i'm not even joking every time i watch that yeah i, I crease up because that is such a that's such a violation like what but yeah umbro um the thing is about Umbro, obviously, there is a lot of, like, speculation, like, oh, is Umbro going to gonna make a return and that? And I've seen a couple of their, like, um, newer releases and stuff, and it's looking all right. It's looking all right, but it's the sustainability of it. Can they actually sustain their, like, uh, releases and stuff? And, you know, can, can, can they continue making good, good items and all of that good stuff? And... I'm pretty confident that Umbro is going to make a return. Obviously, they did a collaboration with Supreme and also Palace. Like, I think Supreme was last year. Palace is this year. But yeah, it is underrated for sure. But, I, but I'm but i very curious to see if they could actually like blow up and actually become like a certified, you know, like if the comeback is actually, you know, if it's all talk or if it's all hype, you know what I mean? But um. And also for episode three of this video series, let me know down in the comment section below of like what topics in fashion you want me to want me to talk about in episode three. And um, yeah, it's been your boy. See you later and uh, deuces.